So I'm going to be honest with everybody, I didn't intend to do a new card discussion video today. I actually intended to talk about the ARG. So we're going to move around some planning today, kind of tuck the ARG discussion in later tonight after the whole kit and kabang on the fifth day of Christmas, by the way. We're making really great progress. I, I hope you were all truly happy with all of the contests and everything that we've pulled out of our asshole so far, because whew, planning these, these bad boys does take a little bit of time. So, they revealed the Cursed Eye archetype, and if this is anything like anything else in my life, usually the first revealed is going to be the worst, as is tradition. So, also this archetype is based on equip spells. Let's be completely honest here for a second. If you were expecting anything positive to come out of an equip spell based archetype, you're probably having bad expectations. <laughs> Noble Knight's called. <laughs> they want their hopes and dreams back. But this whole theme is going to be based on some interesting stuff. And, well, I, I honestly hope that whatever the hell is coming out in Infin er, Infinity Chasers, that we're looking at some sort of positivity from this. Um, I'm definitely liking the art so far on this guy. Like, honestly, the way that this is... In, more cursed than anything. Kind of reminds me of like a Naraku esque thing from like Inuyasha. Maybe I'm going a little bit too far down the rabbit hole. But we got the first guys are level 4 support down here. So I guess in terms of lure, like this guy's warping into this guy. Alright, well, 1600. And a fiend. So. Dark fiend, cursed eyes, or cursed eye disciple, Sariel. Okay. So you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn, 1600, 1400. If this card is normal summoned, you can add one Cursed Eye from your deck to your hand except for a copy of himself. So the search is for probably spells and traps and monsters, literally anything that like encompasses the archetype that does have Cursed Eye in the name, which is cool. If this card is equipped with a Cursed Eye of Selen, Quick effect, you can target one source of monster opponent controls, destroy that target. Okay. If you activate the second effect of this card during the next during your next demo phase, destroy one card you control. Hold the fuck up here. Are you telling me that you've designed this entire deck to be a double edged sword? Because I ain't feeling that right now, cuz I'm gonna be honest with you. The fact that on normal summon I get to search is cute, but Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't go long enough for me to like have something. So I guess if I don't have something on my field during my next standby phase, I don't have to kill something. I kind of have a feeling that most of these cards are going to have that are basically going to make an attempt to punish you if you don't destroy them or they'll have additional effects for things to, like, detonate them. Now, like I said, I don't know how I necessarily feel about an archetype of equipped spells. Like I said, Noble Knights have kind of shown up and done things. And at least the Noble Knight cards had, like, protective-esque effects built into the cards that no matter what really happened to them, you know, they would at least protect themselves for a turn. So, already out of the floodgate, just looking at the first monster here, if it doesn't have some sort of effect like that, or something super amazing, like already a deck that kind of wants to go turn two, turn three. I'm a little bit sketchy about, probably as most people will be weary about this. At least to be honest with you guys. So now we move on to what appears to be Cursed Eye King Zarakiel. Okay, so is this guy like a fallen angel or something? I, I guess it's kind of cool. So... Mr. Zerakiel, Link 3, uh, he's got the Decode Talker arrows with 2,600 attack points. Okay. So he comes in at materials of two Curse Eye Monsters plus. So no matter what happens, you're not going to be able to generic Frankenstein this together. You're going to be shoving, you know, actual pieces from the archetype together. And if you're not doing that, you're not, you're not making this. So you can only use this card's second effect of this card's name only once per turn. So... This card that was linked summoned using a monster with 2,600 or more attack can attack twice during each battle phase. God, please tell me you're not going to put the Solomon Great Claws on this deck that has the ability to link summon itself through itself. I really don't want to deal with that. 
And this card is equipped with Cursed Eye of Salon. Quick effect, target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. If you activate the second effect of this card during your next standby phase, negate the effects of an effect monster that this card points to. <sighs> so, Cursed Eye of Selin, I guess, is going to be the core equip card in the deck. Now, if they make it so that I don't have to play multiple copies of this, I have an unfortunate feeling that we're about to see some stupid shit where you're going to be seeing multiple different equip card names within the same deck. Nobody wants that, but I think it's really cute that every time that you equip it with X card, you get the ability to destroy something, and that is a quick effect. So I'm... I, you need a spell card that can be equipped during the opponent's turn, and we might be getting somewhere. Like, I, I can probably forgive the flaws of an archetype with something that good, honestly. Like, if you give me... A quick play, a quick spell card, like, we'll get somewhere. I'll, I'll be happy, you'll be happy, your mom will be happy. Now, Cursed Eye of Selen. So, literally, it's just this thing. I really hope that, like, it's good. Equip spell card. Equip only to a Cursed Eye monster. Welp, there goes my idea of it being generic. Equip only to a Cursed Eye monster. Uh, you can only use the third effect of this card once per turn. Okay, so the equipped monster cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effects, nor by targeted by your opponent's card effects. Excuse me? Cur the equipped monster cannot be destroyed by your opponent by battle or by my opponent's card effects, nor be targeted by my opponent's effects. Did we really have to make untar... <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So I got a I got a normal summon searcher for this, but okay. <laughs> Fuck it, man. <laughs> Each time a uh, fiend monster's effect or a cursed eye spell and trap card, except this card is activated, the equipped monster gains five hundred attack, but you lose a thousand life points. Fuck it. Okay, sure. I'll boost up my monster. If this card is in your graveyard and pay a thousand life points, banish one cursed eye spell and trap card from your graveyard, except for cursed eye of Salon, to set this card to your side of the field. What in the fuck did they make here? All right, so I take back everything I've said about this archetype to this point in time. All right, scratch it all, scratch it all, bring it right back around. You give a card this style of claws. Ladies and gentlemen, you have Papa's attention. Cool, so you can be an untargetable boss monster. You can be an untargetable boss monster. You do a lot of wonders. Please just give me a discard draw card. Give me everything else that Papa wants for this deck. And we might be getting somewhere. I'm... Oh, whew, I, I'm excited. Okay. Scratch it all. Konami knows what to do for equip archetypes, it seems. I have m gradually misjudged this situation. And this is good. Alright. Like, okay, so like, the the equipped, with a quick effect, to destroy something is really cute. I'm, I'm kind of thinking of ways that I want to abuse that, but... but okay. I see what you did, Konami. A little bit of miscellaneous general stuff, too, out here. Uh, we got a... Continuous trap card called Stardust to Wish. Once per turn, if a Stardust Synchro monster you control is tribute to activate its effect, you can target that monster. Special summon that card. Your opponent can activate cards or effects in response to this effect activation. And then if a monster is special summoned by this card's first effect in attack position, it can't be destroyed by battle. Literally just gives you recursion for Stardust Dragon. I, I don't know what they were trying to do here with this. I'm going to be honest with you, but for some reason, it really kind of... <sighs> They tried. We'll go with that. Um, some other little things to kind of note here. Uh, ranking dual playmats coming out. Um, basically, this hints at a new Orphagel boss monster. And I do think that this mat looks really good. Um, I didn't actually think that like we would be getting something else. This could probably be potentially another Link monster. Or it's just literally going to be a nightmare-esque card kind of like in the same way that we've had previous boss monsters but there's that and then the last little bit of news today is this is going to be our july august set 
but Rising Rampage is going to be the April set in Japan. We don't really know much about it, other than card prices are going to raise a little bit in Japan for this set, but I mean, outside of that, it's that. So that's just a little miscellaneous news. So that's all I got for this morning, guys. Please leave a comment down below. You guys stay tuned for the DRG discussion later tonight and the fifth day of Christmas. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.